Welcome to another part of the Quartro Seal Requirements video series. In this series, we talk you through the new Quartro Seal Requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details for each requirement, the evidence expected from applicants, extended guidance, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number 10. My name is Raina Jenkins. I am the Data Stewardship Manager at Ocean Networks Canada and have been serving on the Quartro Seal Board for the last few years. Requirement number 10 covers quality assurance, which means that the repository addresses technical quality and standards compliance and ensures that sufficient information is available for end users to make quality related evaluations. Of course, different repositories undertake different levels of curation on data, metadata and documentation, depending on the needs and expectations of their depositors and the designated community. Quality assurance by the repository ensures that the digital objects comply with a range of standard criteria, including acceptable formats, metadata schema, metadata content, and links to the other digital objects. This really relates to technical quality rather than the scientific quality or merit of the original digital objects creation or collection prior to deposit. Though the repository must ensure there is sufficient information about the digital objects so that the designated community can assess their fitness for use. Data or associated metadata may have quality issues relevant to their research value, but this does not preclude their use if a user can make a well-informed decision on their suitability through provided documentation. There are numerous types of evidence that could be provided in the response statement to, to demonstrate the quality assurance steps taken. The approach to data and metadata quality taken by the repository includes variations for different creation levels, perhaps. The response could also describe the standards that are existing for data, metadata, and documentation, and how they must be demonstrated to comply for acceptable preservation and access needs. These might be external standards, internally developed standards, or community of practice specific standards. The response statement might also describe the quality control checks that are in place to ensure the completeness and understandability of the data and metadata, and may describe any approach to resolving issues, such as if the digital objects are returned to the depositor for rectification, if they're fixed by the repository, are there quality flags that are applied to note any issues, and what is included to demonstrate the checks in the accompanying metadata. The response might also describe the approach to managing changes to expected standards, for example, any new or updated formats of metadata schemas, because there is a need to respond to changes that occur in the technical environment or to changes in the needs of the designated community over time. And what, what kind of checks are done for links that are provided for other digital objects, metadata, and data, perhaps uh, links to related publications or links to controlled vocabulary terms and ontologies. A couple of examples, example statements from applications are presented here to further illustrate re response expectations. Please know that these are merely examples of aspects of the requirement and by no means complete response statements. On the first example here, the depositor enters the metadata and uploads the data files and is solely responsible for the quality assurance, as outlined in agreement they've made with the repository. This is not an adequate approach because in this case, the, the repository is not taking, taking any responsibility for that technical quality. Better statements would be some, something like, a data curator is assigned to each deposited data set to verify that all required metadata and data content is properly entered and formatted using a combination of validation tools and expert judgment, or the metadata includes information that influences data quality, such as measurement accuracy, calibration records, and method limitations, or automated data assurance checks are executed for real-time data streams for core instrument types, where there's some link to describe those, Results are provided in the data files and curators investigate failures to determine cause and remediation. 
The changes between 2022, 2020 to 2022 and 2023 to 2025, um, the, the, a very obvious one is the change of the name from data quality to quality assurance. This allows for a broader scope from not just the data, but also the, the, all the digital objects involved. Repository quality assurance is often related to standards compliance. This requirement is intended to demonstrate that the repository provides data and metadata of sufficient technical quality. This should be sufficient to allow users to make assessments about their scientific quality. References to expertise were removed here to avoid overlap with the expertise and guidance requirement number six. This concludes the instruction on requirement 10 of the core trust seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the Core Trust Seal YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025 on the Core Trust Seal website. Thank you.